you live every day with the fear of dying, you die every day. Uh, we, we should keep that in because that's. I'm good. gonna cut it out. <laughs> that's, that's weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's keeping his options open. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Imagine that I would cheat on you. <laughs> I feel like I'm helping so many people. Welcome to Relationship Therapy with the one and only Maurits Tibba and me. Okay, so the reason why we are doing this video is because as most of you know, we have been dating for 13 years. That's one, three, and we're not married. <laughs> and if you wanna know why you should watch uh, one of my Q and A's, I'll link them down below. We get a lot of questions. Why do you look so sad? <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> this we, is the intro, right? Yeah. Okay. So we get a lot of questions from you guys uh, for advice uh, for your personal uh, issues. So we figured it might be fun to shoot one of these videos. And that's what we're going to do. Just a disclaimer, we are not any professional <laughs> in any way. Um, see it more, I would say, as like talking to your friends or your friends and um, I think we're just gonna give our opinions about it keep in mind uh, the following this one over here is pretty um, straightforward and conservative pretty conservative and sometimes a bit black and white so it's just like there's <laughs> only one way um, I'm I have a strong opinion as well, but sometimes I'm a bit like softer in a way, right? You're better. Better. I do it better. <laughs> I'm always better. It's relationship therapy with three actually. Hey. Because this one is gonna join us. Hi, Lippert. He missed us for like hey, two minutes. Yeah. Relationship therapy with Maurits, Negan, and Moisey. I'm gonna miss you next week in New York. Okay, so I asked people to send in some questions via Instagram stories. So here it comes. Hey, I have a question. If you love someone but are scared to tell them, how do you find the perfect moment to do so? I'm so lost. I don't want to lose my friendship with this person, but I don't know. Uh, but I want to know if he feels the same way. Yeah, that's harsh because obviously you're friends with this person um, but I get that you want to know if he feels the same way how do you do that? have you ever experienced something like that? I don't think so because for me it's all, all or nothing um, so do you mean I would just take the risk yeah but what if it turns out that he doesn't like you back then you know instantly and then your friendship is lost but if you really love someone I would take the, the chance of, to, of finding out yeah, true. Um, rather than uh, not finding out. Yeah. So I would take the chance of losing a friendship but gaining a love in that sense. I, I think I agree. I mean, I would definitely want to know, especially if you have these kinds of feelings for him. Um, I mean, there's no other way I feel like than finding out. And, it sucks if he doesn't have those kinds of feelings for you, but then, um, I mean, there's always still a way, searching for ways to restore your friendship, right? Yeah, you can always make new friends. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> okay, here comes another one. It's in Dutch, so I will translate. What would you think if your boyfriend goes to a party with his friends? And all the girlfriends of the boys are there as well, but he doesn't invite me to come. Uh, what would you think? Okay, personally, that's, that's weird. weird. <laughs> <laughs> right? The, yeah, that's not a good thing. No, that's um, you yeah. Or there, yeah, you have to talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> you have to know if there's a a reason for that. Maybe he's throwing you a surprise party, or I don't know. Um, but yeah, that doesn't sound really okay. No. no, so try to figure out what the reason is. Maybe it's very, it's an innocent reason and otherwise 
yeah it's a bit weird i mean especially if it's not like a boys night out which i would get but then if all the girlfriends are there anyway why wouldn't he want you to be there i mean you're his girlfriend right maybe he's keeping his options open <laughs> i don't know but find out my boyfriend and i dated for a year before i started college we broke up because he was afraid of long distance and didn't want to try after a year apart we decided our relationship was too precious and got back together and have been dating for almost a year now we both see our relationship as a long-term thing and we do talk about our future together after college however at times it's hard for me to fully trust him and let myself commit on that level because he ended in the first place and he caused me a lot of pain i think maybe cheating she's wanting to say do you think what is the best way to forgive your partner for something that has deeply hurt you so that you, so that you both can move forward in a relationship i'm struggling okay so it's a trust issue right which i get yeah that's that's hard i mean for me trust is the single most important thing in the relationship if the trust isn't there and it's not going to come back for whatever reason um it's going to be difficult and the relationship is going to be difficult so if, yeah. if you don't think the trust will come back uh and there isn't anything you can do about there it is I, I would say i would say end the relationship yeah i think trust you know otherwise you're just gonna keep on torturing yourself i mean you either have to find a way to forgive him and then go back to trusting him and give him like a full other chance and i mean i also get why you wouldn't trust him again but i mean i don't think there's a way of continuing the relationship if you don't trust him so i would say either just completely give him another chance by trusting him or um yeah but i don't think trust is something that just comes back no so, i know you have to work yeah. on it for sure so but if you feel the trust isn't coming back and um then what's what's the point right so you, you just keep on yeah i think i think that's not that healthy for your relationship if there's no trust i think trust is very important i agree with my it's and so um i mean stuff can happen in a within a relationship and when people but if people figure it out together and trust comes back then it could work but if it doesn't and you keep on yeah. like doubting and yourself in you, the relationship how do, you, how do you get trust back after something like that over time i think but yeah. also by talking about it but also showing by by actions yeah right so not only talking but also actions but okay imagine that i would cheat on you <laughs> and i was so sorry and i did all of the things that you were just saying yeah. would you even give me a chance to do all of these things personally i'm not gonna comment on that no i'm not gonna comment on that. <laughs> because we've been talking about it a lot and as I love how his advice about like the actions and things. Yeah, but I'm giving advice to someone else. I know, I know. But personally, from your personal like most like therapists are they have their own like issues. I know, but I think that's I mean we're not really therapists. We're I would say I, I would find it here. very difficult. Would you okay, imagine you found out I was cheating. Would you give me another chance? Yeah, but th that's a hype hype that's hypothetical. But that's you've it. always told me that you wouldn't give me another chance. Okay, so that's your answer. That's what I was saying. He's very straight. So if I cheated, and I get that. I mean, but, but you're also, you believe once a cheater, always a cheater. It's like mm -hmm. once a thief, always a thief. Yeah. That's what he believes. Um, I agree most of the time, but I do think that are people that so are So you would give me another chance. I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's no. do the next question. <laughs> I'm going out with a guy since six months and he says that he needs more time to call us in a relationship. But I'm desperate and I want him to decide. What do you think? Should I give him more time? Six months is not that long. How old are you guys? Wait, there's not an age. Um, I don't think six months is that long though. Depends. I would say get control over the situation. 
Wow, what does that mean? <laughs> just putting things out. Wow. Putting things out there. Okay. Um, so you just force them to put it out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say it. No, but make him like go after you instead of the other way around. But then you're gonna start this game, and you don't want to play games, you know. I mean, you can play small games in your relationship, you know, but be more confident and yeah. make him chase you instead of the other way around. Yeah, but I also think that. In general, six months is not that long. Maybe he does need a bit more time. I don't know about his personal situation. That's Maybe true. something happened in the past and he has um, like some Doubts. reasons or he needs more time to fully trust somebody. Next question. My boyfriend and I are together for about two years and we are super happy. I discovered that he had sex with another in the time we started dating almost two years ago. What do you think about it? Was it okay? He always say, says we were only dating and we were not a couple. Uh, we hadn't had sex yet, but it hurts anyway. And I don't know if our relationship, relationship is worth it now. I mean, it's again, it only depends on the situation, right? I mean, I don't know how often you guys have dated before, how serious it was. Some people are, I think, are like, okay, yeah, we are still dating, doesn't mean anything yet. And other, other people take it very ser seriously from the start. So, I mean, it really depends on that, but I think... Yeah, when do you, when do you become exclusively and yeah. how does one interpret it, the, the start of the yeah. relationship? Right? I mean, maybe it's not polite and it's against your values, but in the end... Um, if you really weren't in a relationship yet, I mean, it's different if he cheated on you, I would say. Yes, I think it's very different. Yeah, but um, again, depends. As a couple who is building, decorating a new house, how do you deal with disagreements when it comes to picking things, especially if someone wants something the other doesn't? Ooh, oh, and we that's just that's moved! Did we have a lot of, uh, no, lot of disagreement? No, no. no, we were we wanted a different floor. I wanted he, wa a he wanted floor. a concrete floor. I want I wanted a wooden floor. He wanted um, the composition of the living area a little bit different than I wanted. When we both want something, in the end, you're not always the one who sort yeah. of gives in, right? Yeah. I think. The, I mean, okay, with the floor, but you're happy with the floor now. Yeah, I think the best way for this situation is to get a third party in who can get more like a balanced and an outside opinion. Why? It's your house. Why would you ask somebody else? Someone with a lot of knowledge of, of decorating. We didn't have a lot of knowledge about decorating. I know, but you know if you want a wooden floor or a concrete floor, nobody can decide that for you. Yeah, but, but on other things, you know. If you have an outsider who can help you a little bit, like a mediator, no, like a or home like decorator, a professional. yeah, yeah, or like a, an aunt who who like loves decorating or whatever, mm. no. Mm. I mean, you can listen to her opinion. What happened with us then? Did we because we have an architect and an interior designer as well who helped us out? No. Yeah. I mean, did we in the end decided what we wanted before we told them? Right? Yes, yes, but they helped us a lot. Yeah, I know, but specifically on the floor situation, on the floor shit, yeah. we decide, I don't know, I think, I mean, you have to figure it out, um, listen to what the reasons are, like I told him, for instance, okay, you know, the concrete, it's nice, but uh, I feel like it's a bit like from the past, it was like really cool four years ago, but now I feel like wooden floors are better right now and also on the longer term, yeah. um, and I feel like he understood that. I think as long as you sort of really argument it you have good argumentations and like a lawyer and you just write everything down and you're like here this is the case i mean there's no way and i feel that understand. in our relationship if you really really want something you will get it and the same yeah. way if i really really want something or what i really don't get, want what something what did you get in the house that i didn't really want i want, really wanted the white couch oh yeah true and you really wanted a white couch and i didn't want a white couch because for me, I mean, I love a white couch, it looks great, but for me, what is really important next to everything that has to look great, I want to feel at home, I want to be comfortable in it, I don't want to worry about anything. And so, I was like, Mao, it's gonna be a headache, people are gonna come over, and then we have to worry about like, 
uh, where people spill their drinks or food or whatever and he really 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 wanted it and he was like you know what we're just gonna take a chill if something happens we'll figure it out it's yeah. not a big deal and then he got his way on the white couch yeah and then for the first week we were really um careful with the couch but then luckily we had our first stain and then afterwards now it's just chill so uh, I really wanted the white couch and Negan really wanted the wooden floor so we both got what we wanted right? you look like this annoying perfect couple we're not perfect no next one I have a love related question I'm 20 and have been dating my boyfriend for four years sometimes I feel like because I'm so young people tell me I need to explore other people but then I don't want to lose what we have with him how do you find that you don't get bored or that you don't need to see other people sometimes i find myself attracted to other people and don't know what to do either i'm 20 and have been dating my boyfriend for four years i personally wouldn't listen to what people tell you to do but if you want to explore that's something else i agree right yeah and that's something you have to figure out i mean in the end 16 is young yeah but, but I, yeah but people tell you yeah people tell a lot of things you yeah. know People always tell you to do this or to that, to do that. I mean, you could always listen to them and sort of take it into account, but don't follow that necessarily just because they think it's best to do something in a certain way, right? Yeah. I mean, she's saying herself that she feels attracted to other people sometimes. So um, I think definitely you can listen to people, but in the end, you have to do what makes you feel best. And um, I mean, it's hard, I get it. If you find that something special, you don't want to lose it, right? Because, I mean, I was 18, but I feel like I found my special person, so age didn't matter. Maybe your partner feels the same way, and you just have to talk about it. Mm. That's the thing. <laughs> just have to talk about it. <laughs> talk about everything. I'm in a relationship for two years, but I'm always afraid to lose him, and I think my life wouldn't be the same without him. How do you manage that after all these 13 years? I mean, you're afraid of losing him in, I guess, the sense that he would break up with you, right? Not that something happens to him like an accident. Uh, <laughs> like an accident. <laughs> what? Like, I'm always afraid of that. What? Like, Why are you like, laughing? No, this is funny. <laughs> like an accident. <laughs> I didn't want to say, like, he passes away or something. Yet. <laughs> Does he give you a reason to feel that way? Huh? No, but also it's a feeling maybe it's a feeling that mm. no but what if she's afraid of losing him because he's giving uh, a reason to you yeah, know like he's no. saying things huh i think fear in the end is just a bad thing yeah but i get that if you're building on something you don't want to have the feeling that um, you're gonna no, but it's up. the same as fear of dying you know if you live every day with the fear of dying you die every day true the same for uh, we, we should keep that in right because that's i'm gonna cut it out <laughs> okay we needed a drink this is an intense therapy session i feel like i'm helping so many people <laughs> feeling good about yourself today yes okay guys that was it for our advice slash relationship therapy i hope you guys uh enjoyed again we're not professionals, we're not telling you what to do, we're just giving you opinions as your friends, basically. So, um, and please let us know, because this was the first time, let us know how, if you like it. Yeah, because, let us know what you think. Uh, we didn't do any preparations at all, so yeah. it was just... Um, it was just for, like, from the heart, and again, don't break up, because we said, I don't think we even said one time to break up. We don't, no. don't want to give that advice, because that's not up to us. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know. See you later. Bye. Bye.